All right, today we're reviewing the ASUS P8Z68V motherboard. Uh, very nice little motherboard from ASUS. It's supporting, uh, or it's using the Z68 chipset. Uh, supports the 1155 socket processors, and it has all the goodies you're expecting. You're not gonna have any surprises here. This is exactly what you're looking for. A very useful, very modern motherboard. You'll see as I go through the review, it's got all the goodies, and let's just get started. All right, starting off with the uh, chip, you will see that it is the uh, 1155 LGA chipset, so uh, it will support your i3s, your i5s, your i7s, as long as they are the second gen core processors, uh, and they are socket 1155, they will work. Um, it uses the Z68 chipset to run the whole board, um, so it will be able to use any type of onboard graphics if you do have them on your chip. Uh, up to 32 gigabytes of DDR3 over here, dual channel. Uh, it will support up to 1600 megahertz memory natively or up to 2200 megahertz with overclocking. Um, if you want to overclock, it's really up to you and you can probably get even a little bit higher. You do have two PCI Express X16 2.0 slots. They will run at X16 and X4 if you populate both of them with cards, which is still pretty good and definitely good enough for Crossfire uh, or Crossfire X, which this board does support. You also have three standard PCIs and two PCI Express 2.0 X1 slots. So um, you can definitely add any type of, you know, maybe a RAID card or some sort of um, sound card, they're all going to fit. If you look down here, lots and lots of SATA ports. You have four, which are the standard SATA 2, 3 gigabit per second, and then you have two of the SATA 3, 6 gigabit per second. Um, this is going to use Intel Smart Response technology as well as um, all the Intel Dynamic RAID features, whatever you call it. That's going to let you do RAID 0, 1, 5, 10. Those are all going to work on there. You definitely want to use RAID 0 on your 6 gigabit per second. Maybe you want to use some Intel SSDs um, or any brand of SSDs. And then up here, you definitely want to run your storage through the slower SATA 2 ports, which are still you know, quite fast, but um, definitely not as fast as here. You also have lots of USB headers. Uh, if you want to throw some USBs on your front, on your back panel or on your front panel, um, you can do 2, 4, 6, 8 right through there. Um, right over here at the top, little button, probably one of the only buttons you'll see on here. It doesn't have your kind of overclocker enthusiast buttons like, you know, your power and your reset, but it does have this mem OK button that lets you test your memory to make sure that it's going to work. Asus does have a, uh, a QVL or a qualified vendor list for their memories. Um, you know, most memory dims are going to fit in there and they're going to work no problem. But in the event that you have an issue with booting and you're getting a memory code, your mem OK button is going to kind of test it for you. Really, really useful. Um, it's actually it's quite useful. If you build a lot of PCs and use a lot of different types of memory, it's really useful. Um, let's move on to the back panel. We're going to go across uh, from over here all the way across. So first thing you'll see is two USB 2.0 ports. Uh, the always familiar PS2, it's the dual PS2. So if you're a little bit antiquated and you have some old tech, you might want to have that. HDMI with your digital uh, optical out, which is your toss link or your SPDIF. You have DVI and VGA are both available. This is your super speed USB 3.0 couple more USB 2.0s, 10, 100, 1000 gigabit Ethernet, and your 7.1 channel HD audio. This is a, a Realtek ALC887 chipset, so it's you know really, really nice HD lossless audio through here. And uh, there's also a Realtek chipset to run the 10, 100, or 1000 Ethernet, so um, that's really good to use as well. Um, it's also important to notice that this board does use the Lucid Logic Virtue, so it does have dynamic switching between the I modes and D modes. Also has a UEFI BIOS. Um, all those new modern features that you're seeing on a lot of these motherboards, this one does have it. So um, really powerful board, really nice, uh, kind of good if you want to build a gaming slash media center system because it does have the HDMI and the onboard graphics, but you can load it up with Crossfire X cards and do uh, dual cards or just one really powerful NVIDIA or uh, a ATI card. It's really up to you. Um, it's, it's a really nice board and it's at a great price. So if you have any questions on it, feel free to email me and I'll see you guys next time. For more information on the ASUS P8Z68V, type in A455-3505 into any major search engine.